everyone. I wanted to talk a little bit about making the most of the images that you put on Pinterest. A lot of times when I'm participating in threads that require pinning other people's pins, I notice a lot of pins that either don't have great descriptions or the images don't tell me anything about what the pin is or what the article is. So I wanted to show you a quick way as to how I create my pins. Now you'll see on my Best of Thrifty Guardian page, which hopefully you all, if you've got a blog, have some sort of best of page so that someone looking to repin specifically from your site can click the best of board and immediately have all of your articles um, at his or her access. You'll see here most of my pins are um, divided up to where there's an image and text straight through the middle of the image. A lot of my images sometimes have a picture on top and a picture on the bottom instead of being cut straight through. But for the most part, um, my pin look is pretty consistent. You'll see a couple like this one someone actually made for me, so of course I used it. Um, and then sometimes I mix it up just a little bit if it's like a series that I'm doing together like my 10K series. But most of the time, like I said, it's the same kind of look and the exact same kind of text. I use the same text for every single pin. I actually create my pins in Publisher. So you see here, this is my most recent article, and all it is is two pictures that I took. I cropped them down to be about the same size, and then I inputted a text box. And again, all of my um, text is the copper plate gothic bold, um, and that's really important because then not only, again, do all of my pins have a consistent look so that when someone sees them, they go, oh, I think that might be a Thrifty Guardian post. But when I'm scheduling in Tailwind, I can quickly look at my sidebar on the right and see um, roughly how many of my own pins are pinned for the day versus others. So once I have my pin done in Publisher, I copy it all. I group it together. I then copy it. I paste it into Word. Now you don't want to hit Control V because that will um, not paste it as an image. So when you go to paste it, you want to click, right click and paste it as a picture. And then File, Save as a picture. Go ahead and save it. And then I go to Canva.com, which is of course my go-to for most of what I create. Um, I click Pinterest graphic, so that way it's the right um, or ideal dimensions as according to Pinterest. From there, I just upload my photo, which you can see I've already done, and then I size it again per this graphic, making sure that my text is in the center, download it, and then once it's done, um, It'll, of course, be up here in my downloads. I move it to my picture file. And from there, every time you make a blog post, you want to make sure you're setting that featured image. Um, when it's in WordPress, you just go down to the corner here and set your featured image because this is the image that most of your social media platforms are going to pull, especially Pinterest. So if you don't have this featured image set, that's where you're going to get a lot of the random pictures or your logo or, you know, it might pick this picture of my son instead of the image that people can glance at and immediately know what my article is about. So again, really important that you are creating consistent images with your Pinterest, that you are making them the ideal size, and that you are setting them as your featured image. As always, if you guys have any questions about Tailwind or about Pinterest in general, please do not hesitate to comment. Um, I'll either answer you in the comments or maybe even create a video walking you through the steps.
If you're interested, please check out my Pinterest Pals group on Facebook. And I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day. Thanks.